If you watched our bus build, you know I tiled our entire shower in a broken dish mosaic made completely from dishes from a thrift store. And I finished the whole shower portion so we could use it when we hit the road, but I never finished the other side of this divider down here or the low wall behind the composting toilet or this whole wall over here, which is gonna end up having a night sky scene with moon and stars, which is what I can't wait to get started on right now. Time to mosey over to mosaic land. So did I show you this? This is my little corner of Wolf Riggs shop where all the mosaic magic happens. Oh, and did I tell you I changed the stars? I know the mirrored stars were so cute and I made the new stars the exact same way, but I made the new ones out of glow in the dark tiles like the moon so there will be more than just the moon glowing in the night sky when you turn off the lights the stars have to glow too it's going to be cute trust me on this has actually been a couple of weeks over here in the mosaic corner. We've just been busy doing other things and I've been sick a little bit and I've been totally distracted working on other projects. Oh, you guys wanna see my other projects I've been working on? Okay, see how many changes we can count of what's been going on in the mosaic corner. For starters, we have the Wizard of Saws because it is great and terrible. Look how awesome this thing is. I love it, but I'm terrified when I'm using it. This is going to be the next part of the mosaic that we work on. And then I have some project fodder. This is a teacup mosaic I recently finished. This one's, a, I don't know, kind of simple. They all turn out a little bit different and unique. Here's one of my mosaics that actually broke and three of the mugs fell off. 
I have to tell you, this is the only mosaic I made that I used a really old weathered piece of wood and I used mastic as an adhesive instead of like liquid nails or something. So I'll never make that mistake again. But needless to say, I have been repairing this one. It's um, ready to grout next and then it'll be finished. And then over here I've been working on uh, the Wolf Riggs logo to go in the shower that's inside the rig. And then this is just another fun project. Um, it's a topper for a little um, garden border. So it's just going to be, I'm going to make several of these sections so it's going to be a whole border of flowers. And here's my awesome shelves of supplies. We've been going to thrift stores on 50% off day, so I have all kinds of projects for future fun. My other distraction has been that I started working on a bird bath because I'm making a little garden for Mamacita. So it's made out of terracotta planter pieces. The a large saucer makes like the basin of the bird bath. So I have my pattern all laid out here and these for the outside. And then all this row of stuff here is gonna be what's on the base, which is two terracotta pots stacked up this way. And then obviously the, the basin sits on top up here. So I haven't been working on my bathroom night sky mosaic at all. It's just been sitting here and I am ready to start gluing the pieces down. But if you look at the mosaic, you can tell it's covered with a thick layer of shop dust. <laughs> you can tell it hasn't been touched in a few weeks. Watch. See that? <laughs> Very dusty. So it doesn't matter though. What I'm gonna do is just glue the pieces down first and let the adhesive completely dry and then it'll be super easy to just wipe down all the pieces without them moving around. So let's do it. doing the prep work to get ready to put up my mosaic. Mike keeps helping me. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm just gonna have him apply the whole thing. It's your new job. I'm not, I'm not applying your stuff. He's just, he's just my prepper. Yep. Oh, which is so true. He is such a prepper. Nice job on the waterproofing, by the way. You're welcome. I'm not a huge fan of mosaicing on wood. There's so much prep involved with roughing it up so it has some adhesion and then waterproofing it is probably the most important step so it doesn't pull all the moisture out of your grout which leaves it very crumbly because it doesn't have time to harden. Okay I thought we were actually going to be putting up the mosaic yesterday. I didn't realize that the sealer needed a full 24 hours to dry. So after waiting weeks and weeks we had to wait one more day before putting up the night sky. 
So, I don't know, have you guys seen? I had to start covering my mosaic work because it's filthy in the shop. All right, this is the big, uh, big moment for Carrie as she peels the tile off of the table here. We have some like plastic down there and she'll peel up the, uh, the netting that holds the tile like that. And hopefully it comes right up off of the, uh, off the plastic underneath it. Yeah, every single time that I've checked it, it has been still wet still wet still wet because there's like nine pounds of glue under each piece of mosaic okay. boy it's coming right off isn't this it? is how okay wait look down here this is how it looks when you peel it up and it's completely dry this is how it looks when you peel it up and it's still wet right that's actually coming up really easy oh that's really Looks like it's going up today. Oh, yeah. A little bit. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. Okay, I gotta cut my pieces apart and then we're gonna go put it on the wall. Alright, I'm keeping this whole <coughs> moon section as one piece so that doesn't get all crazy because these glow-in-the-dark tiles are way thinner than the rest of the plates. So like, and all the stars where you see down here, look at the stars. There's popsicle sticks behind all of the stars to raise them up to the level of everything else. So I cut the moon out because I need to put popsicle sticks behind the moon too. So I'm glad I just now remembered this before just sticking the whole thing up there. Right. That cut was easy because it was just one straight line, but now I need to cut like some kind of a weird, I don't even know where to cut this. <laughs> this is gonna be hard. Should I, maybe should I just keep it in strips and just cut some more strips? Yeah, do that, just cut another strip off of it. Those popsicle sticks are really getting in the way of my cutting. <laughs> okay. I think we got it. We have left liquid nails for this. Doesn't she look beautiful today, though? She is a beautiful lady. Who, me? Yes. Whatever. He always thinks I look beautiful. I could look like a dump truck and he'd think I was beautiful. <laughs> Baby, you look like a brick today. <laughs> <laughs> Mother like daughter. <laughs> There's all the glues. He talked me into putting in the glue in here. Oh, no. Soggy piece. This isn't. How am I going to carry this now? Pick it up. We're good. Oh shoot, this stuff might be way too heavy for this adhesive. Okay, that's not bad. 
that, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you show the bathroom supervisor down there? Mama Kitty, what are you doing? He helping. What are you doing, Mama? Hello. Yeah. I know. Oh, what a big helper you are. Good job. Alright. Hold on, hold on. Just hold it right there for a second. Oh, that's super cool. Oh my gosh, I've been waiting such a long time to put this night sky up. It's like one thing after another has just Does this need to come up more? Interfered. I know, I was wondering about that same thing, well, I mean, but... Well, you just push it up. No, it's too late. My glue has already stuck. As long as I got this one in the right place, then everything else should go on easily. Right. But we're about to find out if I left too much of a gap here if it doesn't fit down here. Right. All Scary! Right. Definitely running out of adhesive. We're gonna have to go get more. Luckily Lowe's is like less than a mile from here. Right? You can see on this one where I switched from the old glue to the yeah. new glue. All right. Now for the challenging part. Oh my god, how do I... Very nice. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy, it's just sliding down. It's not staying in place. This is awful. Using thin set is so much more enjoyable. You just can't use thin set with wood. Like we needed to use rock board here. Okay, is it staying? Yeah, you pressed everything in hard. This is sliding again. Let's see if the other piece fits now. Oh, it totally fits. Good. Okay, I was starting to panic. No, as a matter of fact, we've pushed it up too much now. Crap. No, I can't move it. This is the most difficult part. I'm going to have to leave more of a gap down here because if I leave the gap here it's going to be very obvious and noticeable mm -hmm. but I think your eye will be more forgiving yeah, of not noticing that. that down there well these pieces matched up exactly how they were supposed to so that's awesome okay did you push everything on real good I think so Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, very cool. It's still a little bit weird over here, but you know what? It's it like, it is what it is. Yeah, no, it looks awesome. I literally considered trying to like ombre the blues down into a darker and darker and darker blue to where they met up with the black, but finding the right plates for that many shades of blue is ridiculous. And I would have had to make much, much smaller pieces than the large pieces mm -hmm. I've been working with. So that just wasn't going to work. So it is what it is. I just let it be That's what great. it is. Are we going to make it? on this last tube of liquid nails. The never ending liquid nails. Da, 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 da. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we did I that know. on one tube. 
crazy. Do we have what we need to prop this up? When yeah. I um, as soon as you do, I've got to take a measurement. Oh, gotcha. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Just watch. It's too hard to explain. <laughs> oh, no. I don't want to get goo on the pieces that are already in there. Okay, yeah, they're immediately wanting to come back off. All right, so. I gotta cut this. Oh, out. yeah, I gotta, gotta trim it. I told you. Okay, Mike propped up this little board that's holding up the whole ceiling of the niche mosaic, which, if this was thin set, wouldn't be an issue. It would have just stayed in place. But. That ship has sailed. We built our wall out of wood, so we did what we could. <laughs> okay, you guys, another day has passed, and I've decided it doesn't bother me as much as I thought it would, where there's this little interchange between the blue sky and the black sky. I think because I started thinking of it in terms of like a comic book, you know, like each little square mm -hmm. panel in the comic book sequence can be completely different, right? It could go from daytime to nighttime in two right. different comic book squares, depending sure. on the story being told, right? That's it. So I don't know, ever since I started thinking of it in those terms, it just it doesn't seem to bother me so much anymore. I feel like I can just roll with it. Now we should show them what it can do. Yeah! Hit the lights. <laughs> glow-in-the-dark pool tiles I think was the best ever. Yeah, it looks so cool. I can't wait to put some glow-in-the-dark sea creatures in the ocean down below. I've already seen some of them. They're so cool. <laughs> awesome job though. This is beautiful. Thanks, my homies. I think this might be my most symbolic segment of the whole mosaic yet. The crescent moon, um, was the very first thing I saw in my very first flashback I ever experienced. That was a totally life-changing moment. And then the whole, when I was trying to decide if this was too many stars or not enough stars, I stood there and like counted them all and there was 17, which is a hugely symbolic number for me because my son Mason was born on August 17th which makes him a Leo, and he also passed away when he was 17. So the fact that there would just happen to be 17 stars was like, okay, that's a sign. I'm keeping them exactly that number. I didn't like add any more or take any more away. And then that's what gave me the idea. Since my little Leo is in heaven, I put the constellation of Leo in the heavens of my mosaic. Anybody who knows it, can you see it? Right here, this little like backwards question mark and then a straight line over to these three stars in a triangle is the tail of the lion. So there's just a whole story in the night sky of my mosaic. It's awesome. Yeah. All right, you guys, sorry we kept you waiting so long for this video. I hope we won't keep you waiting this long again. <laughs> but uh, give us a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more because there might be some more videos. And we don't know when, so <laughs> you know, you got to click that little bell. <laughs> Next video will be showing actually some of the stuff we've been doing in the shop so we can kind of catch you up on. Uh... We also have some video um, of Mike's new hobby that I don't think anybody has seen or heard anything about yet. It's so fun. There's always a new hobby with this guy. It's so fun. So you guys, yeah, stick around, come back, and we'll see you then. Bye guys. Love ya.